Hi YouTubers, this is Nancy and I've got I've got a new project this morning. This was the altered box that um, in a steampunk style that um, I mentioned in my video about how to alter the chipboard gears from the from the mini album scraps shop. And these are the the chipboard gears and, and you can see that video. I think it's called um, texturizing chipboard gears and that's here also here on my channel and um, I've used some of them on my project. Yeah, each one is, is, you know, has a different um, color and texture, and I really like how they came out. Anyway, I wish that I had taken a before picture of this box because it, I got it at the Goodwill for 99 cents, and it was, um, it was covered in cloth, like a navy blue cloth with gold stars. You know, something, you know, like a celestial uh, pattern, something that you would have probably seen in the 80s. It was really popular. Um, anyway, what I did is I, oh, I, I'll start with the, with the, uh, roof, actually. Oops, sorry about that. Um, okay, on the top of the box, I covered it with a, a textured, uh, like, kind of gold, almost, uh, brass-colored paper. Um, it's like, kind of a woven pattern, so I thought that went well with, the, with, uh, the rest of the box, because it pretty much, you know, fades into the background, which is what I wanted. And I put some Tim Holtz clocks on there. And um, after, in order to adhere the paper to the box, I used um, uh, golden gel medium and a, a gloss. And while that was still wet, I embedded some jump rings in there, you know, just to add more texture. So these jump rings are all just embedded into the into the gloss uh, before it dried. I also embedded a chain. You, know, you can see that more when I show you the back of the box. But I have it, I have the chain hanging down. See, it's all attached, um, you know, as far as the edge of the box. And then it hangs loose from there. And, and I hung some little, little tokens that I got at Michael's um, from the chain. And on the top, as a handle, I have a little bird birdhouse, which was just made from a, you know, some kind of aluminum. Um, I got it in a rack. It was supposed to be an ornament, and I, I took the string off, and I put a little piece of bark on the roof, and added some moss and a little tiny bird hot glued on there. And I, you know, I distressed the sides of the birdcage with Tim Holtz distress powder and um, some rub and buff and patina. And I glued some, I glued moss, and I glued some little bird eggs that I got at Michael's um, uh, uh, surrounding the birdhouse, and, and also moss. And then I put wings on the birdhouse to make it more steampunk. And the wings are also uh, chipboard from the mini album scrap shop. And I've texturized them and, and um, put gel medium and uh, UD, you know, just to make, they're really hard. I mean, they're not... They're hard like plastic. You're not gonna. They're strong, and the whole thing lifts. You know, the birdhouse serves as a handle, and the inside of the box is just plain black. It's like a black velvet. It came like that, and then I put these metal. I tried to stick with um, like mostly metal, and I didn't want to put flowers on it. But I did have this one flower that's really um, rustic, and you know that. And it's a, a green that, you know, doesn't, uh, like a really pale sage green. And it was perfect on this project, so I did put that. And the leaves were metal, and they were a iridescent, um, like a navy blue sort of, greenish navy blue. And I used the gold rub and buff and some patina on there to make them match the rest of my project. And on this side, there's more, more of the gears, and those are all glued on there. And... Um, you know, I, I texturized this one with glass bead gel. You can see that in my video about texturizing the gears. And then on the back I have a little padlock, and this is the chain that I embedded into the, into the gel medium. The gel medium dries nice and clear. It's a very thick white when you're using it, but it dries hard and clear. And this is an old rusted bottle cap with an image of a, um, a woman in there. Well, steampunk style. And the back of the birdhouse has a little bit of moss um, glued to it. That's the back of the wings. Okay, so anyway, 
that is the cover and I just love how it turned out it's really interesting and then I can take, I'll take the cover off so I can tip the box on the side so you can see now I told you it started off with cloth it was just cloth and I covered um, you know I painted the gel medium onto the cloth and then covered it with aluminum foil and then I painted Look at that texture. I didn't want to put, I might um, put more gears on the sides in the back of the box, but I wanted you guys to, um, just, you know, just to see the texture before I do that. And it's very shimmery too. I don't know if the camera will pick that up, but it really shines. Anyway, so um, I, I paint, after I stuck the, the aluminum foil uh, onto the box with the gel medium, after it dried, I, I trimmed it with a craft knife and, you know, all along the edges. And then I painted it with a mixture of a kind of a aqua blue and a um, sort of a sage green paint mixed with uh, like one part paint to three parts gel medium. So I painted that and then I rubbed it off a little bit and I put some glimmer mist. Um, actually, I didn't use glimmer mist. I used uh, Dilutions Mica Spray. It happens to be my favorite brand to work with um, but you could use Glimmer Mist or the Lindy Stamp Gang um, ink sprays and and then I also rubbed it with the gold rub and buff and some patina and silver and, and you know each time I I use some sort of put some sort of treatment on it I would just wipe it back until I have several um, thick layers it, it's got a really beautiful depth to the finish can you see that shine and depth it's just gorgeous and and then that's a, um, I'm, I'm not sure, uh, the keyhole, I don't know if that's a Tim Holtz or, or, or what, but I also added some of the patina and a little rub and buff on that. You know, just the more texture you put on things, like I, like I said in my video explaining how I did the gears, the more depth of color you're going to get and the more texture and just the prettier it's going to look. I mean, I mean, this, um, I think the photos really don't do this justice, but... It's really, really pretty. I wish that um, I wish I could show it to you in person. And then I glued several different, um, I think three different kinds of wood. Maybe it was two. Like a yeah, there's a wood ball, and then there's another wood thing. And you know, it's um, I got those unfinished at Michaels, and they also have a lot of treatment on them, including uh, uh, crackle, crackle medium. After I was finished with it in the gloss, and there's rub and buff. There's I don't even know exactly what I used on there, but they blend in well with the piece. And I know that the the legs are a little tall, actually, for the size of the box, but I wanted it to look kind of funky, so I, I actually would like to have made them taller, um, and almost did, but anyway. So, uh, thanks for watching, and uh, leave me a comment. Have a good day. Thanks. Bye.